Hello, everybody. We're going to start in uh, one in 30 seconds. I just need to set up one or two little things here. Make sure we are ready. Hello, Rakshit Desai. How are you? From India. Hi. It's getting late there, right? Isn't like, uh, was it 8 p.m. here? Uh, so I'm in Spain, so it's probably uh, 1 a.m., right? <laughs> um, hi, CUI. So we are going to uh, go through a simple uh, linear regression. This is based on a new class I put up on Teachable, a free class. And um, you can get the details um, and the code right here. So you can go to um, you know, viralml.com and right in the front uh, of the page, there is, uh, it says make account and predicting life expectancy. And that's what I kind of want to go through the linear regression part in the next, you know, 20 minutes just to, to walk, make a video about it and, and, and walk uh, people who are interested in it. Um, and Hypergram and um, uh, can you know, just, just, just walk you through, but I really encourage you to take this class. Uh, it will be um, the, uh, you go, if you go to school, you will right here. This is, it's a free class, so there's no cost. It's on Teachable. Uh, right now, the code is there. The one thing I haven't done, and I will do this after the class, is add the Teachable link right here in the intro of the notes so that you can uh, join the, the Teachable class. But the code base, everything you need for, the, for, for doing it, is right here. So um, right there on uh, viralml.com, and you go to school, and it's there. It's called you know, um, uh, Predicting Life Expectancy. A, a Python machine learning to web port free class. And you know, it's the kind of thing I've been talking a lot about lately is uh, taking your Python machine learning ideas, basically anything that you do work in your Jupyter notebooks and uh, being able to port them to the web using Flask, using uh, res um, HTML uh, responsive templates. And it really allows you to take a machine learning idea and make an application out of it with buttons, with controls, with drop downs, with pictures that anybody then can in, that can interact with the actual idea that you have, not just uh, they don't they're not, nothing to do with your Python code, nothing to do with your machine learning or stats It's purely a tool to, in this case, predict life expectancy. So I want to show talk a little bit about what's going on behind the hood. So uh, uh, first of all, welcome to the Viral Mail Show. My name is Manuel Amunategui. These are the, the live webinars I've been doing now. Uh, it's like the fourth or fifth I've been doing on Sundays. I'm gonna keep doing it as long as I have ideas and, and uh, people uh, seem to enjoy them. I'm, I'm happy to do them. Um, and you know, just make it short, keep it, keep it you know, dynamic and fun. And if you've got questions, please, uh, pl please don't hesitate. So um, we are going to be using, uh, let me make this a little smaller so we can all see it. And I'll walk you through the, the linear inter, the linear regression part, which is super simple, but it's also critical for predicting life expectancy using this data set. Uh, this is a great, great data set. It's called the Global Health Observatory from the World Health Organization. And in it, there are uh, some thousand health indicators. So if you're interested in, um, in anything medical, uh, about uh, you know over so some almost 200 countries around the world, uh, that's the place to go get it, and they'll tell you, you know how people are doing health-wise, the diseases they have, the reason they're they're dying, how many people are dying, all that stuff. Are really interesting, and definitely it's it's uh, you know it's just fertile ground for for interesting uh, data science projects. So um, that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I'm going to load. Um, I'm going to load. I'm going to load it in memory, right? So again, this is the same thing that you'll see in the on, under. If you go to school and you see the, the 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 full source code is there. So we're just going to kind of touch the surface of it. So I'm going to go and down, download it from the from the GHO from from the World Health Organization. It's a pandas read, uh, so it's super easy to do. Uh, it should it, it will work, uh, you know, automatically. Uh, you know, you just pass it the HTTP string and it's going to get everything for you automatically so you don't have to worry about saving it locally or anything. It's not that big of a data set. Uh, we are still, uh, this is the code that we use in the, when we build a Flask web application, we still save it to file because then when you port it to the cloud as part of, um, of an application, you, uh, you know, we, we, we don't want to always hit up uh, WHO. We want to have our own, uh, our own site. So if you, if you are interested in, um, in uh, in seeing seeing this 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 app live, um, you can you can go you can open up the the source code the original source code not the one I'm using right now, and you scroll here it is it's it's called 
time left to live. So let me click on there and go there now. So it's at www.timelefttolive.com and that's that's kind of what we're building in the class and that's what I'm going to show you right now the engine part of it so it's super simple um, and you know you choose your gender I'll, I'll go with you know I'll go with a random one let's say pretend I'm 26 but then I got some uh, credit so the credit score here um, is is not something we're using in, in, in the one we're using we're just ba basing it on what we get in the WHO data uh, these are additional ones uh, I added country we are using let's pretend I'm from Belgium and let's pretend I do not have a disease and you hit time left to live and it's going to tell you how many years you have left, right? So uh, again, the idea is when you have icons that represent one year of your life, it usually, you know, it kind of, it kind of brings to the point that, right, life is not infinite and, you know, you got to make, you got to make things count, right? You got to, you got to use them and use them, use your time and use your time well. And this is 55 using the, the the sporty icons, meaning that you're living a healthy life. You know, you're taking care of yourself. But you could also, we're also, there was a study I found, I talked about junk food and how it affects your lifespan. And I integrated it and, and it says it goes from 55 to 52 if you have, if you eat badly, right? A lot of sugar, a lot of fatty foods. Um, and it goes even worse if, you know, you, you're drinking a lot and you smoke and you have a really bad lifestyle. Uh, it will go, right? You, it will go from 55 to 48, right? So that's that's a, a seven-year drop uh, out of, you know, um, you know, 80, 75 to 80 year lifespan. That's a lot, right? That's 10%. Um, so, uh, so, that, so if you want to see it live, that's where it is, time, time left to live. Okay, let's go back to, the, to, to looking at this in your regression. So here we downloaded a bunch of data from the WHO um, and it, there's all sorts of data that comes back in this data. We are going to clean and only use the GHO, which uh, is the Global Observatory data, the year, uh, the country, where that person, uh, the person is from, the gender, and the, uh, the lifespan from that point. Um, we are also doing a little bit of more cleaning up, and once you run this, you get, we're going to do a head to see uh, the first 10 rows of the data, and this is, this is what it comes out of. So, you see um, the GHO has, in this, in this data set, we have two types of features, life expectancy at birth and life expectancy at 60. We're not seeing the 60 part, but it's there too. And this is the date when the, this, this kind of, let's say, census was taken. For example, here you have in 2015 for France, a male uh, who, is, uh, who was just born can expect to live uh, will round it up 80 years, right? So that's how it works. So, um, and it's interesting because they have older data as well. They go back into the, the like 2002. Let's compare here. Uh, let's do uh, 2015 for a male lived at, uh, at birth, uh, 2015, so recent, can live, can expect to live 80 years, but uh, uh, um, the same male from the same country born, uh, you know, almost, let's say, 14 years earlier can expect to live 76 years, right? So we can clearly see, uh, you know, all around the world, poverty has dropped, you know, we have better, better nutrition, more access to more to healthier food. And that has added an extra, right, almost uh, four years of life in, in a 14 year period. And you'll see that as well. It's very interesting because you can do all sorts of studies uh, because they have uh, over 194 countries in this database. So we loaded the data in, and now um, uh, we're going to use it. But first, let's take, let's do an exercise. Let's see. Um, I hope you can see this well. Um, but let's let's do our own little uh, uh, our own little uh, data frame, a fake one, where uh, we're going to create two ages, just like the GHO data has, uh, the age of zero and the age of 60. And we're going to say, what's the life expectancy for, um, you know, for those, uh, for those who were born or who are 60 years old? And we're going to pretend. I pulled these out of my hat. But somebody who was born uh, can expect to live 90 years, right? These are really good numbers. You don't see that much. Uh, and somebody who's 60 can expect to live 30 years. Okay, I, it's completely made up, but this is how it works. And it's a good way of kind of really um, understanding how the data works. Uh, we're going to create a matplotlib, very simple. I'm sizing it for uh, to make it nice and square, five by five. Uh, we're going to put the uh, the, uh, the x axis. The x will be the age. The y will be the life expectancy, and we uh, plot it. And I'm doing a line style, which is dashed, and a marker, so we clearly see what are the points we're talking about. And that's going to come in handy in a second when we add some uh, different ages. But uh, uh, and we call it this, we call it um, 
we call it life expectancy. And I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm also adding the, the X and Y labels to make it, to make it clear. But this is what basically, right, this is uh, zero expects to live 90 years. Somebody who was just born 90 years. Somebody who's 60 can expect to live uh, 30 years. So you can clearly see it on the graph. It should be kind of a negative slope. And you see somebody who's zero should live uh, 90, right? So you can see on the, on the uh, Y axis, 90 years, it looks good. And somebody who's 60 can expect to live some you know, 30 years. So obviously we're gonna be using a linear regression. Uh, linear regression really is trying to understand through points how to trace, you know, how to do a, a line of best fit. And actually there's, there's an example here on Wiki. I pulled one up here that got a nice little graph on Wikipedia. But here is a line of best fit for uh, all sorts of blue dots. And it's kind of, you know, it's kind of calculating what is the, the ultimate way of having that, that line that's going to minimize the distance between these blue points perpendicular to that red line. And that's what the linear regression is all about. And uh, as you can see, this is a, a positive slope. It's going up and there's tons of points. The difference with uh, what we're doing is only two points. We only have a point at zero bir uh, birth and a point at 60 somebody who's 60 years old, and we have a negative slope because somebody who's born can expect to live longer than somebody who is older. Um, and that's what we're doing here, right? So we plotted it and we have this negative slope. And so now let's add this linear regression, right? We have two points. We have basically two coordinates. We can create a, uh, the line equation out of this. So basically I'm gonna use the, uh, the stats.linregress function because it uh, not only you know, calculates a linear regression, it also gives you what we need, the slope and the intercept of these two points. So I'm going to call this, this, um, this linrex, I'm, I'm gonna pass it our, our fake data set we just created, uh, the age, right, comma, uh, the life expectancy. And I'm gonna ask him, you know, give me the slope and the intercept. That's what we need because we want to use a line equation then to be able to plug in and get anybody's life expectancy regardless of their age. And, oh, and because we have two coordinates, we, that's all we need. And look at that, right? We have the, the intercept is 90, the slope is negative one, which you can see is going down, perfect. So now with the line equation, I'm, 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 maybe, maybe you're familiar with them if you've taken you know, uh, math classes or, or stats classes, it's, pretty, it's a pretty classic. Uh, you can take the, uh, you can get uh, uh, any estimated point if you have the slope times whatever it is you're looking at plus the intercept. So we're, we work specifically modeling life expectancy. So if we take the slope of life, the life expectancy data times the age, whatever you want to guess, and the intercept. So now with this, right, we can, with this and um, our formula and our data, we can now, um, you know, we can now estimate any age we want. This is really cool. So let's pick uh, 32. Remember, uh, we know that somebody who is born can live 90 years. Somebody who's 60 can expect to live 30 more years. So how many years does somebody who, uh, you know, who's 32 expects to live? Well, you know, we, we can more or less guess it, right? You could put 32 here. Uh, it's probably going to be 50 something, 55, let's say, I'm guessing. So let's put it in. 58, they can, they're gonna be living 58 years. So now we can do the same plot we just did. We had two points, right? Now we're gonna have three points. So we, now, we have a new age, 32. I'm gonna add it to our, you know, to our data frame. And 58, they can, ex they can expect to live 58 years. And now let's uh, you know, create a, a new data set and plot it just like we did before, but now we're gonna have three points, right? And look at that. So still, you know, uh, birth 60, uh, you know, uh, 90 years, uh, you know, somebody who's 60, 30 years. And here is our, you know, our, our person at 38 can expect to live 58, right? This is, 30, sorry, 32 can expect to live 58 years. So that's basically how the app, how this, how this app, right? This, um, uh, did, I, did I remove it, right? The time left to live. That's exactly how this app works. That's, it. That's, that's, that's under the hood. The only difference is uh, we just did it with fake data. And I'm going to do one example with you with real data. But uh, right, you can, there are different permutations. So for gender, there's three different options in the data. Uh, the age, right? So that's what we're guessing, right? That's what we're, we want to estimate. So it's anything we want. And the country. So this, this GHO data comes with all that, uh, all that data, right? That's what's really cool. So let's, let's explore. Um, a little bit more. So now let's actually look, instead of using fake data, data that we're creating with our own little fake data frame, let's use real data. 
So uh, I'm going to pull from a country, I'm going to pull the United States, uh, the gender, the sex, I'm going to pull a male. And I am going to say, uh, you know, uh, give me, uh, first of all, we're kind of, we're, we're kind of like going to do a, a series of, sub, of, of subsets on the data. We're going to say, give me, uh, uh, take the, your, your, the WHO data and give me only uh, for this one country. In this case, we want the United States. We don't want France. We don't want, you know, Spain, India. We just want the United States. And they say, then we're doing it to a second subset. We say, just give me uh, males, right? That's the only one we want. We don't want females. We don't want both. They have the three types. We just want males. And um, then we have, we suddenly have a very small, a lot smaller data, data set, right? Let's see how, how um, uh, let's see how big the original data set is. We can do a shape on the data. So we have 18,000 rows. And now for just males uh, in the United States, we have 34, right? So we've drastically reduced it because keep in mind, it has almost 200 countries for many years for uh, uh, and many genders. So uh, with three genders, so it's, there's a lot of data. So here we kind of reduce it drastically and uh, what are we doing here? So then we're going to uh, we're going to sort it because we're going to sort it by year. Remember that these were like like a like a census. Uh, they're done. Uh, so we want to make sure we use the freshest data. We don't want to use something from 2002 if we have data from 2015 or 16. And um, we also uh, we're going to take we're going to split this in two separate data sets. So we're even doing more subsetting. And now we're going to create one data set for ages at birth. For the sorry, the life expectancy at birth, and same thing, uh, life expectancy at um, uh, life expectancy at 60. So let's pull all that, see what we have, and here we have it. So um, this is actually interesting. Um, uh, uh, here we have so somebody who's just born, right? This is row 16758. Uh, so they have the latest data is 2016, which is good. So I think it's the, the latest census data they have there. Uh, can expect to live in the United States 76 years. So somebody who's born 76 years. But somebody who's 60, still same 2016. In 2016, uh, that's row uh, 4012. So it continues here, 4012. They can expect to live 21 years. That's interesting, right? So somebody who's born today can expect to live 76 years. Somebody who's 60 today can expect to live a total of what, 81 years. So that's interesting, right? And that, that's survivorship bias, really. Somebody who's born is gonna have a lot more trouble, uh, has to go through you know, 60 years of life, which the person who's, done, who's already 60 has already survived, so obviously knows how to live. Uh, so, th so those at birth are gonna pull the averages down a bit. It's not that you know life expectancy went down. It's just the survivorship bias, and that's the way it is. But that's 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 not a big deal. Again, the these life estimates that we're playing around with are just you know just very vague, rough estimates based on just two data points. And there's so much that determines uh, life expectancy, right? The, like disease, uh, pollution, uh, you know your environment, right? So more things than is captured in this data set. Okay, so now we have this. Let's uh, do the same thing we did before. We are going to um, pull the, uh, the life. Uh, we're going to pull this. Let's do this. Um, we're going to pull. Let me remove it so we can do a little bit by little bit. We're going to pull the subset of the, the, the birth. We just want one. Remember, this is sorted by this is sorting. This is sorted by descending order by year. So that means we're only, in this case, we would only get the, um, the year 2016. We don't want the year 2015, 14, 13, 12. We're not interested. We just want the latest data. And that's what we're doing here. So we're going to limit it to just um, one row. So now we know the life at birth, uh, the, the life expectancy of somebody who, just who was just born, a male in the United States, is 76 years. And the life expectancy of somebody who's 60 is next row, another 21 years. Okay, so... Uh, this is exactly what we confirmed when I was doing it manually. And now we're going to pass this uh, um, to, to the data set. Uh, sorry, to, uh, we're going to plot it, just like we did before. So the age we know is 0 or zero and 60, so we, we are adding these manually. And we're going to add these values to our life expectancy. So, uh, um, you know, 76 and 21. And the code, the rest is exactly the same. We're going to plot it. So let's see what this looks like. 
and there you have it. So I was more optimist, uh, optimistic in the one I the one I made up, uh, you know, pulled out of my hat. Uh, you know, this is a little lower, right? This is starts at nothing passes 80 and it's 20. Well, the one I came up with, we, we were in the 90s and, you know, person at 60 could expect to live another 30 years. So not, not as optimistic, but uh, that's the way it is uh, for those parameters. Uh, you know, uh, females will live more than males. So if you put females, uh, this will be a little higher. And that's the way, that's just the way it is. So now we have this, right? So now obviously, we're next, what's the next step, right? We're going to want to estimate uh, for a real person, right? A real person from the United States. Um, so uh, same formula as before, we're going we're gonna to pass uh, this new data, this actually this real data in our li linear regression from the stats package, and we're going to pull the slope and the intercept. And I'm going to remove this. Let's just do it this way. And let's see what the slope and the intercept is for a male in the United States. So now it's 76, and it's still a negative a slope at uh, zero, negative 0 0.9. And now let's you know, let's let's pull anybody, right? Anybody uh, from the United States. Let's say somebody who is uh, 27, and let's see what. Uh, and we're predicting 52. Okay, somebody who's 27 years old, a male, United States, according to our data, can expect to live another 52 years. So here we can create, we can recreate it, right? So we, it was 0, uh, 27, and 60. That's the data that we have, and so we can plot it. And the life expectancy, so we know uh, zero was 76, right? That's what it was, 76. Um, yeah, I think it's just the, it's the intercept, right? 76, yeah, so 76. So uh, it's 76 years. We have 52 years. And uh, it was 21 years. I already forgot. Let me put it back in. 20, 22, we'll round it up. And 22, okay. So this is our new data set with this data we just added, and let's plot it. And look at that, right? So uh, uh, exactly, still a linear regression. The spot is smack in, in, you know, right, right on the line because it's, uh, you know, it's a linear regression based on two coordinates. It's always going to be, uh, you know, uh, it'll fall always flat on the line, and we can have some fun, right? We could, for example, you could say, what's going to be the life expectancy with somebody who's 120? I'm sure you can guess what it's going to be, a negative number. And if you plot it, it will be, um, the age will be 120 and negative 32. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it's, it's you can't see it, right? So it's underneath the, the uh, so it, it's, abno uh, you know, it's an anomaly. Uh, if you see, uh, you know, uh, life expectancy with the negative numbers, you know that something may be off. Uh, again, there are edge cases, uh, but uh, based on, you know, the GHO data, it, it, it's, you know, it's going to be within this line. And basically, if you extend it, you know, it'll be 22 years plus 60. So 20, yeah, 22 is 80, uh, 82. And it, it's right around here, right? So it, 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 even though people are living longer than 82 years, males are living longer than 82 years in the United States, those are edge cases. They don't kind of fall in the norm in the, you know, in, in, in the middle of the distribution curve. Um, and there it is, right? So that's, that's kind of what I, you know, 20 minutes is, is past. That's kind of what I wanted to show because I thought it was, you know, it's not, not only is it very interesting and it's always a fun, uh, a fun topic uh, to, uh, well, let's do, let's do a female. And I think in this database, the, 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 the highest expectancy is Japan. So let's go with Japan. And you may not see this, but there is a lot of countries, 100 and, um, 100 and some, 190. And let's say someone who's 20, uh, credit score, excellent. Those are not, those are not looked in, the, um, in this current, see, 68. So uh, a, a female who's 20 in Japan can expect, be expected to live 68 years. And if we compare this with somebody from the United States, uh, let me pull it in. United States, same, everything else exactly the same. So here is 68, and that drops to 63 years, right? So quite a drastic drop. Uh, and, you know, uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's the way it is, right? Five years, the, the difference between United States and Japan. Um, and so um, 
Uh, if you have any questions, you know, please post them because I'm going to wrap it up. But I just wanted to give you a few pointers uh, if you're interested in this. And I really recommend that you go through this class. If you give me uh, 20 minutes, the, the, um, uh, the, the class link will be under school. You go to school at theviralmail.com, school, and it will be here. Currently, it's not. It's just a code, a source code, but I'm going to add it. I'll make it clear that's the teachable class that, that when you go here, you can take it and you will build, uh, you, you will end up building. Where are you? You end up with a picture of the app. Oh, and I'll add a picture of the app. But you will build a version of this. Um, a version of this, this, this application, a web application, uh, basically the same engine I showed you just now, that's really the heart of it, the same data set, the GHO from the, from the World Health Organization, along with, um, uh, along with a Flask UI, very simple. Uh, I really like uh, UIs that are extremely simple, especially when the focus is not statistics, it's not Jupyter, it's not Python, uh, it's really life expectancy. They don't care about anything else, they want to, you know, understand life expectancy for different countries, different ages, different genders. And then they want to see, usually put their own age in there, play around, you know, have some fun. Uh, and hopefully, you know, it's, it's, it's a, an awareness application where you go, oh, wow, yeah, you know, life is not, uh, doesn't go forever, especially for the young ones. Uh, people, you know, who are, uh, you know, I don't know, under 30, they, you know, well, at least that was my case. We, I felt like life was going to go on forever. Day to day at 50, you know, definitely things are very different, especially when I put my coordinates in there and I see 33, right? So 33 more years, eh, you know, I want to make them, I want to make them last and I want to make them, make it, uh, make it count, do, do some great stuff. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, uh, seeing this kind of web applications, the fact that it can share some complex statistical ideas to anybody and this great, great data set from the World Health Organization organization that has, you know, a thousand, um, um, you know, um, health metrics, health data, you know, definitely check it out. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, it could be very, uh, very interesting. And I'm sure, uh, you know, if you use your imagination, you could come up with a really cool tool to help people to be aware. Like this is an awareness tool, right? It, it, the, the key here is to think that not only do you have to live healthy, but also make your, make your time count. Now, just don't, don't waste too much time. Make it count. But uh, with a thousand uh, uh, health metric features in this data set, there is so much more that can be done to, be, to, to raise awareness in all sorts of areas. Uh, you, but but that, that we're counting on you being uh, domain experts where you know something that the rest of the world doesn't know. But on top of you, you know that problem and you also know some uh, data science and some machine learning and you can build these web apps so then you can share some of that knowledge and, and open people's and open other people's eyes that would that would not be able to uh, understand it through a Jupyter notebook, but they could understand it through a simple web application with a very, very simple uh, UI, uh, you know. Uh, hey, hi, uh, the Omori Uba. Uh, thanks for saying hi. Anyways, we're, we're wrapping it up here. Uh, again, give me some, give me uh, 20 minutes and I will add under at viralml.com, I will add and school, you will see, I will add the teachable link so you can take this class, it's free. Uh, and I recommend taking it because I think it's fun. And don't forget to sign up for my newsletter right here so you can get updates on um, videos I'm making, but also deals on classes. Uh, and because um, uh, I always have, I always come up with new classes, uh, and I'll, uh, uh, you know, I always try to do at least a free introduction to something. Uh, like this is just a free class, just because I think you know it's 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 about health awareness, and I think it's important that it's free. So uh, thanks again, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, you know, you can type them, type them in quickly, because I am about to end the stream. The video is recorded. Um, I'm going to be, I'm planning on doing these on Sundays at this time, 6 p.m., uh, you know, UTC. Uh, so uh, if you have questions, if you have comments, you can, uh, you know, post them in the, um, in the links, uh, in the comments of the YouTube or sign up for my newsletter and, you know, uh, newsletter is sent through my email. You have my email and you can contact me if you have questions or even suggestions for, for stuff to do live. I want to keep them under 20 minutes because I don't want it to be too long. And uh, I probably won't cover complex things, right? It has to be like, like this, like, you know, simple linear regressions or a simple look at a data set or look at a, a cool, uh, a cool a flask feature or, uh, you know, a, a, an interesting machine learning, uh, anything that you guys think it would be useful. So again, 
Thank you for watching, and I'll we'll catch you guys next time. I see there's no questions, so we're good. Thank you all who, who, who showed up. Huh? Talk to you soon.